Hey guys, what's up? It's New Gate Four Seven here on behalf of Max Out Studios. I'm gonna be for now on making the scrap scripting videos on Max Out Studios. You guys can check out my channel. I upload snap scripting videos also. I will be uploading one a week on this channel. My YouTube channel will be in the description, so if you want, you can go check me out. So otherwise, let's get started. So today we're gonna be working on enums. So an enum is usually used for a user system, but we're just going to use it in a general idea here. So let's start by making our enum. We're going to call it player statistics. And we're just going to open our bracket and we're going to put a semicolon there. So what we're going to be doing is money, float health, and float armor. So it's quite simple. We're just going to do new variable, make it player, max players, and max players is going to be for any player ID you put there. So it's going to be defined for every player and player statistics. So basically, how this works is there's going to be a new variable called player, and we can make a player ID or I, or depending on what syntax we're using, it, and player statistics, which is the enum. Now, this is going to be accounted for all of these so let's get started so let's say I want to set somebody's money and I'm an admin so we're just gonna we're not gonna really check for the admin it all depends on your user system but let's see so we're gonna do give money so player ID params we're gonna return one all right so now we're going to use SSCNF. So if SSCNF params U D I D and amount, then return the syntax. With slash give money ID amount. And we're going to make a new variable called id and amount. So now let's actually do the command. So we're going to see if we're going to take the person's money, we're going to set their money, or sorry, wrong function. It's give player money um, id and amount. So it's not much to it. But and also we're gonna set the variable. Whoops. So that's all there is to it. Now that enum with the money variable is defined. And usually, if you want to use it without giving the give player money, you need to use it on a one second update, which I use in one of my tutorials. You can check that out on my channel. But now let's work with armor. So slash give armor. We're going to return one new ID and float amount. So if SSCNF oops, params UF, F stands for float by the way, and ID amount. Return some client message player ID negative one syntax slash give armor ID amount. Alright, so now let's actually set the armor. So now that we've done that, let's set player armor and the amount and let's set our variable alright and let's compile no errors as you see so now let's move on to the give health slash give health player id params let's make a new id and if Float amount if SSCNF params 
you have float again, ID and amount. Right then. Oops, sorry about that. That's my hotkeys. Sorry about that. Return send client message player ID negative one syntax slash give health ID amount. So now let's actually do the command once again. It's basically the same thing. Set player health, ID, amount, oh, okay, um, amount, and let's set their variable. And to make sure this worked, it's quite a simple command. Let's just do cmd variables, params. Turn one. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to return. So let's make a new string. Format the string. And let's see. So we're going to make the variable armor. Actually, money d, which is a, an integer armor. F, which is once again float, and health is a float. So let's define those. So money would be player, player ID, um, money, player, player ID, armor, whoops, armor, and player, player ID health and those should come out to whatever you set them to um let's send the client message quickly negative one string so that's basically it that's all enums really are they're not complicated at all usually in uh systems they're not only used for players they're used for vehicles and whatnot and they are quite useful when you don't want to take up as much room making a new variable for each one. Sometimes you, people will just say like new uh, whatever and then max players. It's not efficient really. And this is a much better way to do that. If you guys need further explanation you can ask, just comment. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.